Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of the RMHC Global Board of Trustees, Dr. David Herman. Physician, surgeon, researcher, writer, educator, innovator, thought leader. Dr. Henry Perry is all of these and much more. His life work has been driven by the firm belief that all people everywhere deserve access to primary care. That's care that's so basic we easily take it for granted, like aspirin, nutrition, sanitation. Yet today, for billions of people, that's not available. In spite of dramatic advances in the biomedical sciences and technology, each year almost 7 million children die from conditions that are readily preventable. More than 300,000 women die from readily treatable conditions in childbirth. Millions more die from treatable infections, including HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. As a young doctor, Dr. Perry had formal training in medicine and general surgery, as well as public health, anthropology, and sociology. While his private medical practice was rewarding, he believed there was a way he could do even more to save lives, and he left his practice to travel the world. Working with those who were medically underserved in places like Bolivia, Bangladesh, Haiti, and other developing countries. Through our commitment to Ronald McDonald Charities, we understand the value of community, and so does Dr. Perry. His methodology is community-based and impact-oriented. Often public health is geared towards thinking of communities as a target rather than a resource. With Dr. Perry's collaborative approach, the community improves its own health through actions they can take on their own. In the beginning, he had to overcome tremendous obstacles, including earning the trust of those he served. Some even thought he was an agent for the CIA. Yet, he persevered, working with programs around the world that empower communities and caregivers of children so that children receive better care and chances for survival to age five are enhanced. Dr. Perry's more than 100 publications have established him as a global champion for primary health care movement. Through his teaching at Johns Hopkins University and his popular online courses, he has inspired and mentored thousands of students and practitioners. He founded an organization called Cure Americas Global. RMHC has been proud to partner with them to help make measurable and sustainable improvements in the health and well-being of communities worldwide. Their vision is to provide hope through health, a world free of suffering from treatable and preventable causes. We are closer to that goal because of the work and the passion and the commitment of Dr. Henry Perry. In the high mountains of Bolivia, in the most remote villages, healthcare as we know it is almost non-existent. Early in his career, Dr. Henry Perry lived and worked alongside the indigenous people, providing healthcare services. I wanted to be a medical missionary. That was my original calling, and I wanted to be out there helping and feeling the pain that people had and, uh, and being with them and addressing their medical problems. He's always wanted to uh, reach people who are very vulnerable, and we often find there's vulnerable populations in areas that are hard to reach, that are uh, sometimes very dispersed. Every day you came across people who had enormous medical problems that you knew could be prevented or could be treated if the proper program were set up that didn't require expensive or sophisticated uh, medical services. He realized that just the skills that he had, even as a surgeon, weren't enough to reach the number of people who needed medical care. So that kind of inspired him to start an organization and train community health workers and address the problem more from a public health perspective. 
Dr. Perry devised a delivery plan centered on using local community health workers, neighbors really, who would routinely visit and teach basic health care practices. Henry is seeing the fact that the majority of health care delivery takes place in the household. Many behaviors could be practiced in the home that would save children's lives if only people had that knowledge and that sort of data and understanding of what to do. By developing close relationships with the people, health care workers can create programs that meet local health needs. After several years, the community noticed dramatic changes because of Dr. Perry's project. Yes, I remember before the project came, many children died, especially the very young ones. The project has helped our community very much. Through Dr. Perry's NGO, Cure America's Global, his methodology was implemented in Guatemala, India, and Africa, and all proved to have the same powerful impact on healthcare. Lives were saved. Dr. Perry left his clinical career to devote more time to research and writing about his public health strategies. What he realized was, if you want to have an impact, you have to go beyond a given one patient, one doctor interaction. If you want to affect the health of a population, of a nation, you, you have to think on a bigger scale, and that's what he's done. He's been one of the preeminent, say, researchers who's been able to write about it and gone out and collected the data to prove that this approach can work, and then published it in scientific journals. A lot of the key people that make decisions, they look at the scientific literature to find out what they should be doing. Henry's taught me that if you want to influence people, you need to publish. Henry's goal and, and everything that he taught us was to always try to find a way to reach the people, the hardest to reach, the most vulnerable populations, and give them the knowledge and the skills and the resources for them to make the decisions, to empower them to make a difference in their lives. I think years ago, people would say, oh, we can only save 80% of children's lives or women's lives in the world. And Henry's one of the people who says, no, we can save all women and children from dying from preventable causes. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald McDonald House Charities presents the 2013 Medical Award of Excellence to Dr. Henry Perry. Henry, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Ronald McDonald House Charities, we pre proudly present you with the 2013 Medical Award of Excellence, and with it a grant of $100,000. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone so much. I am deeply honored to accept this magnificent award because of the recognition that it brings to the work that I and so many others do on behalf of children around the world. And thank you, David Herman, for nominating me. I want to thank my lovely, beautiful wife, Mir Lynn, who is with me tonight for her love and support. <laughs> My sons, Baker and Luke, who are here tonight, my sisters, Donna, Doris, and Susan, and my Cure America's Global family, who have a table here tonight, too. So it's great to have all of them with me. All of their love and encouragement have meant so much to me. Today, almost 1,000 children around the world are dying every hour. That's almost seven million a year. 99% of these deaths occur in poor countries, mostly from readily preventable or treatable conditions, such as pneumonia, 
malaria, diarrhea, undernutrition, and vaccine-preventable diseases. Although the world has made enormous progress in reducing child deaths, almost 7 million is still far too many. We now know that through programs such as the ones that Cure America's Global implements in Bolivia, Guatemala, Liberia, Kenya, and soon in Sierra Leone, community-level workers can partner with mothers and children to dramatically reduce the number of these deaths at a very low cost. And these programs are not just handouts. They are partnerships that empower mothers and communities and build local capacity so that the results are long-lasting. I have been privileged to give my life to this work, and I am proud to donate the financial gift I am receiving with this award to Chimericus, Cure Americas Global. I applaud Ronald McDonald House Charities and you who are here tonight for your support that helps make this donation possible. In May, I had the privilege of visiting a Ronald McDonald House in Guatemala City, the same one that JC mentioned before dinner, and I left with tears in my eyes arising from two very different emotions. I was so moved to see children and their families feeling very much at home and cared for in such a lovely new facility near a hospital where they received highly specialized medical treatments. But I had just traveled that very morning from one of the most isolated and poorest parts of Guatemala. I felt so deeply that these mothers and children deserve the same level of support and attention. I love children, and I have found it deeply satisfying to be able to work on behalf of mothers and children around the world who suffer and die in silence. Their suffering has kept me going, and so has their determination, grace, and dignity. These are the people who really deserve this award. We need to hear their voices and understand their plight, and we need to take action. So let me challenge you here tonight, and Ronald McDonald House Charities as well, to become fully engaged in the emerging global movement to end preventable maternal and child deaths in only two decades by the year 2035. This is a campaign that UNICEF and the World Health Organization have just established. Its success will be one of the greatest achievements in history. But success will require all of us as a global family working together as individuals communities, businesses, foundations, civil society, and governments. Drawing inspiration from President Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, let me end by saying that it is for us, the living, you and me, to dedicate ourselves to the unfinished work that remains so that millions and millions more mothers and children will not die as a result of our own indifference and lack of resolve. Or, as I heard someone say years ago in less eloquent terms, yes, let's remember and honor the dead, those who have gone before us, but let us fight like hell for the living. Thank you.